SLAs measure the output and the processes of IT. So what does XLA then measure? Or XLA measure the outcome of, of the service. So there is a big difference, even the word is almost the same, yeah. but the outcome means that you're measuring what really is the value of the services and it is the value to the end users. Yeah. Kind of whatever we do in IT, if it doesn't have a value to the end users in helping them to be more happy or be more productive, there isn't any value in the service. I think that's pretty black and white from, from my perspective. Yeah. Okay might make them efficient again, they are more efficient than the original product if they are able to work with the customers better and so on. But in the end, it all comes to making their life easier. Yeah. It can be service management, it can be the applications they are using, whatever. It always comes to that really SLAs are measuring the value. And now the traditional SLAs typically are measuring the process, how things are done and what is the end result. We resolve this many tickets, servers were up and running and so on. So really kind of a kind of the maybe the challenge for us in IT is that these traditional SLAs are, are kind of facts. Yeah. They are things that happen. We can measure them and, and we can show them, okay, this was what happened. But it doesn't mean that the end users would be happy with the service. True. And and that kind of is that then we start to measure the feelings of people. And that maybe is the challenging kind of one of the challenging things when you're moving from SLAs to XLAs. 